Hey guys, welcome to our NHL 12 goalie tutorial. And for this, we're just going to jump right into it. Three things you want to stay away from as a goaltender. Number one, stay away from why, alright? This is very important. Why is usually used in games to cover the puck. And in a situation like this, it just ruins your chances of saving the puck. As you can see, I was in great position there to save the puck. I click Y, and they get an easy goal. This brings me to my next point. Number two, no manual saves. This can ruin your chances again as a goaltender to save the puck. You will see here an example. Although he missed the net, it doesn't matter. I was still way out of position to make the save. There is another one. It's just not a good idea at all. Okay, now for my third point. Do not use RT. RT is used to hug the post. In games that can be useful when people are behind the net and shootouts, that's not an opportunity that they have. So really, I find it's pretty useless. It can be used in some situations to make a nice save, but we're not going for nice saves. We're going for the save, get the win for the team. That ends the bad things you can do as a goalie. Just recapping, one, stay away from Y, two, no manual saves, three, don't use RT. Hopefully this helps. Now we're going on to the good things you can do as a goaltender. And here's number one, the flying poke check made famous by Johnny Superman and 2BC Productions. Here's a great example where you can see it does not give the player much time to react, so it's a great thing to utilize in your game. You don't want to overuse it though because they can easily jump over you and get the quick goal. Okay, now at number two, we have got Butterfly. Now what I mean by this is, if you hold LT or L2 for PS3, your guy will go into the Butterfly position. I find it a lot easier to make saves, your guy can move around quicker and make the saves much easier. Now while doing this, you want the computer to make the save for you. So you're just gonna hold it and move around with the left stick. I would not suggest touching the right stick at all. On to my third point. Okay, this one, number three, stay in your crease, okay? This is underrated, I think. A lot of people tend to go outside of their crease, and when they're coming back, it takes longer to skate backwards while going to the side. It's really bad. So as you can see, I start out maybe a bit outside the crease, but I always finish inside the crease, okay? That's really important. As you can see here, I'm sitting in the crease. This guy goes for a nice goal. It's not going to work when you're sitting like that, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys would like to see more from us in the future, maybe a skater shootout tutorial, please let us know. And that's all for now. See you next time.